Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be joining the Altenew stamp die and mask stencil release today. You can go into my description to find all of the links for the products and the blog hop. Today I'm going to be focusing on the wallpaper art stamp set as well as the mask and stencil and I'll go into that a little bit more in a bit but I'm also going to be using the versatile vases stamp set. So as you can see I have a piece of four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock and I am just setting up how I think that I would like the scene to look. So I know that I'm going to need to mask off my flowers, which is uh, what I'll be using the masks for in the mask stencil. But I want to make sure that there's a lot of dimension to the card. This is going to be a one layer card aside from the sentiment, which I will adhere with foam tape. But what I'm going to do is place all of these and stamp all of these so that there's a lot of dimension to my scene and my image. So the first thing I'm going to do is ink up my first flower. Now this flower will be the forefront. This will be the flower that you see whole. None of it will be sort of taken over because it's my first stamp that I'm placing down. So I stamped that in Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm, I am going to be using some Copic markers to color this. And I just showed you there some of the masks and then alternatively you could use this as a stencil if you wanted to maybe do some ink blending or something in there. It's really useful for that. But I am going to use the mask part and this is cut precisely to the size of the stamp. So this cuts out a lot of time because you don't have to stamp on a post-it or on masking paper and then fussy cut it out. It's just sort of done for you, which is always good. So I'm gonna go ahead now and build my scene. The one thing that I want to remember and want to think of consciously through the entire thing is that anything that I stamp over that mask is going to end up being under that image. So if I want something to be in the front, I'm going to need to make sure that I stamp that first and mask it. Normally, if you were to layer things on top of one another, the first thing you put down would be in the back or behind everything, but that's not the case in masking. Because you are masking it off, everything you stamp on top of that is going to come off when you take the mask off. So if that doesn't make sense, just try to think about it as going backwards. Anything you put down first is going to be first. It's going to be in the front. So I want to make sure that I mask both of these flowers off when I'm uh, stamping the leaf image, but I also want to make sure alternatively that the flower that I'm stamping up in the left hand corner is really only going over that one flower or under that one flower. So I don't need the mask on every image that I have in the bouquet, just that one, just to make it a little more easy on me. You'll notice that I am putting a, quite a bit of pressure when I'm stamping, and that's because when you have the masks all built up on top of one another, and then you go to stamp, it's possible that the thickness of the masks on top can obscure your stamping a bit. So you wanna make sure that you give a lot of pressure, and definitely enough, so that there's not any white spaces in between your images. I definitely get a very slight white space in between some of my images, but it's not too bad. You'll see here, these leaves are solid and I'm going to end up stamping them in a really light gray color, but because I want them in between all of this flower and leaf image, I need to make sure that I mask every single image off. So that's actually quite thick there in the center. So I wanna make sure that I am standing up and putting as much pressure as I can on my misty door just to make sure that I can get a nice even coverage when I stamp. So you'll see here that it worked out really well. And now what I'm going to do is stamp the vase. And this is the funnest part because I made sure that I stamped that leaf that's coming down there on the right side and the flower so that it was coming over the vase. Normally if you put flowers and leaves in a vase, you'll see them sort of coming over the top and spilling about. You don't always see the very top of the vase. So I wanted to make sure that that came across in my image. So I was really excited to do this. 
As you can see, I only stand, I only masked that one flower and the leaf because I don't need the other ones. It doesn't touch the other ones. And then I was sure to press just on the edges of that vase because the ink will get into the center and I don't want that to transfer into the center of my vase on my cardstock. So you can see here how wonderfully that worked out. All of the leaves and the flowers that are supposed to come over the vase do so, and I just absolutely love the way that all of that came together. I'm gonna go ahead now and speed through my Copic coloring if you are interested in watching that. If not, you can go right to six minutes and 40 seconds where I come back and show you the finished product. If you're interested in the colors of the Copic markers that I used, everything is in the description. So as I am just finishing up my yellow flower here in the top right, this is the finished image. You can see that I added two, or I colored two yellow flowers and one pink flower just to add a little bit of variety. And then for the vase, I just colored it all in with a very light bluish gray color and also um, a darker blue color where those lines were just to make it appear like an actual vase. I finished it off with the sentiment congratulations which is from the wallpaper art set and to ground the image I used some warm gray markers to create a shadow almost like it was sitting on a table or some sort of surface. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and seeing a little bit how I like to use the masks in the mask stencil set that goes along with the wallpaper art stamp set. Everything listed or everything I use today as well as all of the new products are listed in the description and please be sure to check out my blog post so that you can hop along with us and win some prizes. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.